Pele. Edson Arantes do Nascimento, born on 23 October 1940, known as Pelé, is a Brazilian retired professional footballer who played as a forward. Widely regarded as the greatest player of all time, he was among the most successful and popular sports figures of the 20th century. During his playing days, Pelé was for a period the best paid athlete in the world. Pelé was born on 23 October 1940 in Tres Corações, Minas Gerais, Brazil, the son of Fluminense footballer Don Dinho and Celeste Arantes. He was the elder of two siblings. Pelé grew up in poverty in Baro, in the state of Sao Paulo. He earned extra money by working in tea shops as a servant. Taught to play by his father, he could not afford a proper football and usually played with either a sock stuffed with newspaper and tied with a string or a grapefruit. He played for several amateur teams in his youth, including Sete de Setembro, Canto de Rio, Sao Paulinho and Army Quinha. In his mid-teens, he played for an indoor football team called Radium. Indoor football had just become popular in Boro when Pelé began playing it. He was part of the first Futebol de Salão indoor football competition in the region. Pelé and his team won the first championship and several others. On 21 February 1966, Pelé married Rosemary dos Reis Chalbi. They had two daughters and one son, Kelly, Christina, Jennifer and their son Edson. The couple divorced in 1982. In May 2014, Edenho was jailed for 33 years for laundering money from drug trafficking. On appeal, the sentence was reduced to... In 1956, De Brito took Pelé to Santos, an industrial and port city located near Sao Paulo, to try out for professional club Santos FC, telling the directors at Santos that the 15-year-old would be the greatest footballer player in the world. Pelé impressed Santos coach Lula during his trial at the Estadio Villa Belmiro, and he signed a professional contract with the club in June 1956. Pelé was highly promoted in the local media as a future superstar. He made his senior team debut on 7 September 1956 at the age of 15 against Corinthian Santa Andre and had an impressive performance in a 7-1 victory, scoring the first goal in his prolific career during the match. On 29 June 1958, Pelé became the youngest player to play in a World Cup final match. He scored two goals in that final as Brazil beat Sweden 5-2 in Stockholm, the capital. In 1994, Pelé was appointed a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. In 1995, Brazilian President Fernando Henrique Cardoso appointed Pelé to the position of Extraordinary Minister for Sport. During this time, he proposed legislation to reduce corruption in Brazilian football, which became known as the Pelé Law. The Brazilian president had eliminated the post of sports minister in 1998. In 2001, Pelé was accused of involvement in a corruption scandal that stole $700,000 from UNICEF. It was claimed that the money given to Pelé's company for a benefit match was not returned after it was cancelled, although nothing was proven and it was denied by UNICEF. In 1997, he received an honorary knighthood from Queen Elizabeth II at a ceremony in Buckingham Palace. Pelé also helped inaugurate the 2006 FIFA World Cup Finals alongside supermodel Claudia Schiffer. In 1999, Pelé was voted World Player of the Century by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics, IFFHS, and was one of the two joint winners of the FIFA Player of the Century Award. That same year, Pelé was elected Athlete of the Century by the International Olympic Committee and was included in the time list of the 100 most important people of the 20th century. According to the IFFHS, Pelé is the most successful top division scorer of all times with 541 goals in 560 appearances. His total of 1,279 goals in 1,363 games, which included friendlies, is a Guinness World Record. In 1977, Brazilian media reported that Pelé had his right kidney removed. In November 2012, Pelé underwent a successful hip operation. In December 2017, Pelé appeared in a wheelchair at the 2018 World Cup draw in Moscow, where he was pictured with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Diego Maradona. A month later, he collapsed from exhaustion and was taken to the hospital. In 2019, after a hospitalization because of a urinary tract infection, Pelé underwent surgery to remove kidney stones. In February 2020, his son Eden Ho reported that Pelé was unable to walk independently and reluctant to leave home.
ascribing his condition to a lack of rehabilitation following his hip operation.